Welcome to DC. This is where we're starting. There's the Washington Monument. Uh, the Lincoln Memorial is behind it, and in that direction is the U.S. Capitol Building. So I'm going to take you around, uh, just show you what there is to see around here. Uh, but here's where we're starting. That's the the obelisk. It wasn't built all in one go. It was built in a couple of segments, and you can kind of see where the coloration of the brick changes from one section to another. Um, so we're going to check that out, um, just kind of look around, and we'll probably go to the uh, Lincoln Memorial, and then we'll make our way back toward the Capitol Building, uh, maybe make a turn and see the White House, and uh, go to some museums. Yeah, there's that big unit. Despite the fact that I haven't been here for a lot of years, I'm impressed at how much I remember. Like, I still mostly remember where everything is and how to get around, so that's nice. Um, I'm not going to go inside the Washington Monument, uh, just not a thing I had an ambition to do. But I like seeing it from the outside, and we're going to go that direction toward the Lincoln Memorial. Up ahead we see the World War II Memorial, the Reflecting Pool, and the Lincoln Memorial. Last time I was here, the Reflecting Pool was uh, kind of low and a little bit nasty, so let's see if it looks a little better this time. Now, every Monument Memorial has a controversy. The one with this one's kind of silly in my opinion. They didn't want to break up the green space between the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial, but you can see it turned out just beautifully. As a matter of fact, this rainbow pool here was originally part of the... And there's Oklahoma, right where I remember it. I don't know how well you can even hear me with all the fountains. The World War II Memorial is a relatively recent addition to the mall, but I quite like it. There's a reflecting pool, the Lincoln Memorial. This is a lot nicer than last time I was here. Uh, on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, they have the spot marked where Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech. Let's go find that, and then let's work our way back the other direction. Right about there is where Forrest met up with Jenny. Short break. I am enjoying myself so far. However, I've just seen things that I've already seen so far. I've already been to all of these places, and this trip is about seeing things that I haven't seen before. And to do that, I need to go that direction. Headed back in this direction, I am bypassing the White House, which is um, that direction, because I got too many other things to do. Plus, I've already seen the White House, and I'm trying to see some things that I haven't seen before. Washington Monument again. White House over there, and that's as close as we're getting to the White House. I spent some time at the Air and Space Museum. Unfortunately, a lot of it's closed for renovation, but now I'm gonna go into another museum that I haven't seen before.
Indian nation? So that was the Native American Museum. I'm going to give you guys a nice view of the Capitol building since it's nearby. Then I've got to hoof it over to the Jefferson Memorial, which is not nearby. Then I'm going to go back to my hotel, rest up a bit, and have dinner with a friend. So that will, that'll be our day. That's the agenda. So after a few minutes rest here, uh, let's go see the Capitol. And there it is, the House of Shenanigans. Everybody happy now? Good, let's move on. Thomas Jefferson's legacy is eh, complicated. Do I have any special connection to Thomas Jefferson uh, that I would want to go see his memorial? Not really. My main purpose for going is to go to the gift shop. There is the Potomac. Well, it's Washington Channel actually, but you know, it goes to the Potomac. And there it is, right where I left it. Thank you to Landon who gave me a donation on PayPal to help cover the cost of this trip. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have been just overwhelmingly supportive. Um, if you would like to uh, support this journey um, in any way, you are welcome to send me something on PayPal. My PayPal email address will be on the screen now. Um, but uh, you guys have you've covered the petrol from Oklahoma to Boston and back to Oklahoma. I, you guys have got it. So thank you. Um, I, you deserve all the credit for that. So I got a coffee mug. It's not the coffee mug I wanted to get. Uh, I'll show it to you uh, later. Um, but last time I was here, I got a coffee mug in the gift shop. It was my favorite coffee, coffee mug. Um, and I used it for a lot of years until it broke. And a certain person didn't bother to tell me that it broke. So I didn't know um, until I was searching for it one day and was informed that, oh, that one broke. Um, so I wanted to replace it. Uh, and I did replace it, but I, they didn't have exactly the same style of mug. I'll, I'll show you, it's, it's wrapped up. I can't really pull it out right now, but I'll show it to you when I get back to the hotel. Uh, I think my day is about done. I need to make it back to the hotel, which is quite a distance away. Um, I'm gonna take it slow. I need to rest a bit and then I'm going to meet a friend for dinner. Um, but I think I've gone around this city about as much as I want to. I've seen, I think, everything that I intended to see. Um, I could see more. There's just so much to see. Um, I could see more, but I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm, I'm tired uh, and I feel like I've had a full day, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now I've got to decide what to do with tomorrow, and there are a couple possibilities, so we'll, we will discuss that tomorrow. Um, but other than putting in a little clip of the mug that I got, um, I will say um, thanks for watching, um, and see you later. Here is the coffee mug. It's not a great coffee mug. In fact, it's kind of an ugly coffee mug. It's not as nice as my old coffee mug, but you know, it'll do, it'll serve. It's got a kind of a picture there of the Jefferson Memorial. So I guess that's something. Not an adequate replacement, but it will serve. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. And thank you to Magnus, who joined me for dinner. Uh, I had a very nice conversation. It was nice to meet you in person. That was really cool. Uh, so tomorrow it's on to New York. And I hope I haven't miscalculated. I hope I haven't put myself in a position where I'm going to be so tired by the time I get to New York that all I will want to do is crash. Um, there are a couple things I'd like to do while I'm there. I don't... Um, I don't have time to do a lot of things, but I have time to do a couple of things, small things, um, if I have the energy to do it. I will do my best. 
But that means I've got to get some rest tonight and get ready to hit the road again in the morning. So I will see you then.